Liangshan E Autonomous Prefecture, one of China's most impoverished regions. I've traveled 2,000 kilometers from Beijing to find out how people have overcome absolute poverty. Atelier, also famously known the Cliff Village. Over 100 families used to live here once. Their home was 800 meters above ground. Hey. Oh, I got You know, I've done some crazy rides in my life. Bungee jumping, you name it. But this, I've never done anything like this in my entire life. Atelier people chose to live up the mountain centuries ago to avoid wars at the time. But the big mountain became a barrier to the outside world. The only way up and down was handmade return ladders. It wasn't safe, but none of them had a choice. Chinese President Xi Jinping was concerned. I bumped into a young man, Mose Labo, along the way. He told me the government decided to replace the return ladders with steel stairs in 2017. The project costs a million yuan, or almost 150,000 US dollars. It was like a highway to the outside world for the villagers. I've been told the government gave villagers the option of relocating. Since 2016, more than 350,000 residents in Liangshan have been moved from adobe houses to new settlement areas. Labo's family is one of them. He paid a 10,000 yuan deposit or almost 1,500 US dollars for a new apartment that is his forever. His kids, like many others in the new community, walk to school today. All it takes is five minutes. Seniors too can easily get access to medical care. Uh, Labo is just one of many in Langshan E Autonomous Prefecture whose life has completely changed as part of the poverty alleviation efforts. I'm going to go to another village which Chinese President Xi Jinping visited in 2018. I'm going to see how they have been living there. Ni hao. Kashasha, right? Kashasha? Hi. <laughs> ah, okay. I've been to many countries where I've seen much poverty and suffering. But something about Liangshan tore my heart. Maybe it was the difficult climb up the mountain or the living conditions. There was no denying it. It was a fact. People here were really poor. It finally hit me why China made poverty alleviation its priority. This is where actually she tells me uh, President Xi Jinping uh, visited here. Um, he famously quoted, we will not leave anyone behind. Mama's name is Jimuzilo. She's 72 years old. She has a new home in Sanha village as part of the relocation efforts. She tells me that the government takes good care of her and she's very happy. But Mama keeps coming back here. She wants to keep this house clean. She hopes that the president will visit her again. Uh,
The old village is a reminder of the hard old days, but it's also the start of a new life. Many residents who lived here have moved out. I still had questions about Sanha's relocation efforts. Why did the government relocate them here? So我们以前的乡村老百姓呢 President Xi has stressed that the relocation program is important to winning the battle against poverty. Since 2016, China has spent 600 billion yuan or 89 billion US dollars on the project. Nearly 10 million people have moved from harsh natural environments to new settlements nationwide. In his visit to Sanha village, President Xi emphasized the need to boost local industries. Since then, the village has been actively promoting tourism and local produce. Other efforts have also been made in raising livestock and farming. Ji Hao. Oh. Ni Hao. <laughs> Ni Hao. Ji Hao Ye Chu is a jack of all trades. I visited his home. He runs a grocery store in the front yard and even has a rural credit office in his living room. He also works for construction sites near the Sanha village. Ji Hao tells me his income has increased 50-fold. Ji Hao says President Xi's visit was very memorable. He tells me that he's happy. Okay. Seeing how people live, watching how they work, uh, truly an eye-opening journey for me. Now, if you see this, uh, this is the character E. I've been told it symbolizes a rooftop, food and clothes. And I think I've seen it all in Liangshan E Autonomous Prefecture. The people are so grateful for all the changes that have been made here as part of the poverty alleviation efforts. 98 million rural residents in China have been lifted out of extreme poverty so far. The next step for the Chinese government is the Rural Revitalization Program, which aims to improve the well-being of rural residents. Indeed, no one is left behind.